so here I am and I'm cooking and I know a lot of you don't know how to cook so I'm just gonna make it easy. I got some meatballs in here and fry them up but if you want easier meatballs you go to Costco and you get the turkey meatballs already cooked. Then you don't even have to do this part. I've chopped up some vegetables but I know some of you don't know how to chop up vegetables so I'm just gonna give you a really quick show like you cut the pepper in half, you pull the seeds out, and then you like make some long skinny strips, you know, and once you get those long skinny strips done, and you make sure you don't have like the paper tag, then you can just start like chopping them from the ends, and that's how you get these nice little thin peppers in your food. So when you're doing spaghetti, you can actually make it a whole vegetable meal while you're doing your spaghetti. So that's that. And then I do want to take a moment to show you how to cut an onion because onions are very special because they really burn your eyes and make you crop. So what you do is you take your onion and you cut it in half. So that takes a moment there. And then you peel it, pull all the skin off, okay? And don't touch your eyes to your face. This is a COVID onion. Don't do that. Okay? Now, what you do is you take the onion, you put it face down, and then you hold it from the sides, and you just like cut like long, skinny lines. So hold the onion together so none of that onion juice is like spitting up in your face when you're cutting it. And so you're not gonna cry or anything. And then you do it just like you do the pepper, just start at the end and cut your little pieces. Hold it tight though so none of that juice gets up in your face. And this is like how you cut an onion. And then you can always do a little bit after. Okay, stop. No, it's okay. Go. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so here we've got the meatballs mostly cooked. We've got the vegetables mostly cooked, which is good. And then, you know, I mean, I could do this fancy spaghetti sauce with all these herbs and ingredients, but just buy a bottle of something. And then, you know, I like to throw in these uh, diced tomatoes with green chilies for a little bit of spice. So this is basically cooking for dummies. That's what we're doing. So we're making it easy. So just put the sauce in and put the... Uh, and tomatoes with green chili, so a little bit of a bite. And then, I mean, if you want, you can put like two bottles in there. You can might do, depending on how much you really like your um, sauce. But this is looking pretty good. I think I want it a little bit spicier, so I'm going to put in another can of green chili tomatoes, chopped. And then, you know, we've got all these vegetables. So if you eat your spaghetti, you are going to get all the vegetables you need. So then we just need to like put all the vegetables in here. So this is, this is like the best spaghetti sauce for dummies. It's like you can't go wrong with this. You just like chop it up, cook the meatballs, cook the veggies, put the sauce in and we're good to go. And then you're gonna like boil the water and put the noodles in. I'm not gonna bore you with that, but the thing is when you get your water and you bring it to the boil, you put some oil in it. So then when you put your spaghetti noodles in, they don't stick. And then you wait until they're soft and then you drain the water off them. And then you've got your meal. And you also want to make sure you have your Parmesan, Parmesan on top, it's very good. So anyway, that's it. Cooking spaghetti and meatballs for dummies.